Alright, good morning everyone. Welcome to Market Prep. I hope you're having an amazing morning and hopefully you guys had an incredible day yesterday. Good morning, Peter. How are you doing today? Good morning, Carlos. I am good. Had an interesting uh, night yesterday after the closing bell. We had some earnings we're yes. definitely going to be talking about. And uh, yeah, no, I, other than that, I, yeah, I, had a, I had a good evening. I actually watched the Barbie movie last night. Oh, and, uh, nice. How was it? Um, it was weird. I, I, don't, I don't know what I was expecting, but not quite that. It was just <laughs> odd. I, I'm not sure what all the hype was about. Was, uh, was it one of those things where it probably got too hyped and then when you were expecting so I, much and you saw I it, you was so. like, okay. okay right. Like on. if I knew nothing about it, I would have been like, ah, you know, that's sort of, you know, kitschy and fun. But then, you know, you have to get too much hype and then you're, I don't know, as you say, gets built up too much anyways uh yeah that was uh but and my hockey team won last night so that was good all right that's that's good that's good news at least something good happened last night other than yeah, um... no, a couple of good things. <laughs> hey we had a we had a webinar with nate from the chat room as well last night yes talked yes about, uh talked about the, the the effect of cortisol and and uh adrenaline and stuff on your system and and it's uh, all very true so anyways it is, right. sure is, sure is. Um, all right, friends, our gappers list this morning, if you take a quick look on this, a couple of things in the red, obviously some big names here uh, uh, like Tesla that are dr driving things this morning. We'll get into all of that. And then in the green side of things, we have Netflix crushing it today, up 14% uh, and going higher. It's just breaking above the pre-market highs right now as we speak. So we'll dive into that as well. Um, good day, good day. I like what I'm seeing here on our tickers. We, uh, we seem to be... Uh, getting into a good situation as far as volatility goes on these numbers so we'll dive into that in just a second but before we do let's get to peter to go over what's happening today as we get ready for this market open yeah well just a, just a couple of minutes ago we had a couple of economic announcements come out the initial jobless claims probably being the key one um that was down so the forecast was for two hundred twelve thousand new jobless claims uh it only came in at one hundred ninety eight thousand. so again sign of slightly stronger economy but i mean that's not hugely off right so we don't you know i don't think we have to worry too much about that um and then the other number that uh came out was the uh, philadelphia fed manufacturing index um it uh, it was actually down quite a bit uh forecast was for a 6.4 percent contraction so that's negative 6.4 actually came in at negative nine percent so it's like 50 percent uh off the the number almost so um i you know I, I see the market doesn't seem to care it's um it's moving up here uh, in the short term so uh yeah i don't i mean never who knows anymore right with these numbers every once in a while the market <laughs> will like go like crazy other times it's just like yeah whatever you know it ignores it and it moves on so um anyways this afternoon we have a couple of speakers powell is actually speaking at noon he's always the key one that we need to pay attention to whenever he's speaking um uh then we've got uh goolsby at 120 bar at 130 but it's really powell that we have to have to worry about not nothing again we're not expecting him to say anything odd but you just you just never know right on how the comments are interpreted or the questions that he gets asked if he goes off script that's usually when we get some uh, some funky movement. So uh, keep an eye on that, especially if you're trading around noon. But the tail of the tape today, I would say it's uh, it's all about earnings because we got a couple of really good ones. We have Tesla and uh, and Netflix probably top in that list who definitely diverged last night. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking about them as along with a whole bunch of others that uh, that reported. So yeah, let's get yeah. to it. Good, uh, good morning for earnings, that's for sure. We'll start the first one on deck, uh, and our gap up list is going to be uh, Netflix. So Netflix leading the way this morning, 
uh, up nicely here, guys, up so 14% right now and uh, and looking to go high. So looking very strong in the pre-market after last night's gap up. Uh, and they're crushing it, man, of just right below 400. They were hanging out the day before around 346. So really, really nice yeah. pop. Peter, fill us in on how this went. Yeah, I mean, look at that move, right? I mean, $50 up overnight. That's pretty significant. Um, and, and they definitely topped the list. Most earnings were pretty good. Netflix crushed it. Beat their numbers top and bottom line. Um, raising their prices, which is not good for us as consumers. You're like, damn it, they're going to raise the price, the monthly rate again. But from a stock perspective, they love that, right? Yeah. You know, rape and pillage. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go out and get more. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the big news really was their subscriber base. Largest growth in the last couple of years. The expectation was they're going to get about 5.5 million new subscribers, which was fairly aggressive. And they blew the numbers uh, off that 8.7 million subscribers. So uh, really, really strong on the new subscribers, which is primarily fueling this growth. It's good that they beat their numbers. It's nice that they're raising uh, the prices. But you know, to bring on significantly more subscribers is how Netflix sees growth. And as we can see, they got richly rewarded for it last night. We had a couple of our traders in the room, including Paris and NVIDIA, who were uh, trading this after hours. And uh, I think they went uh, I think they went for bottle service at the club afterwards. Uh, I'm, not, I'm making that up. But uh, they, anyways, <laughs> they did really well after hours. And, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're very happy with the results. So, yeah, Netflix had some good moves and off of some good numbers. Yeah, looking good here, guys. So definitely in play today. Uh, control A, Control X on our list is going to clear this up. We're going to put Netflix up front and center this morning as uh, doing very nice, good volume. Uh, and I and we, we're we probably going to get some good opportunities out of this today. Uh, next on the list is not such a great trading ticker. It's T, AT&T. But this pre-market, man, it is looking really nice. They normally don't trade this well. 1.7 million shares traded. Um, what's the cadence? Because I would love to trade them, but normally they are just horrible uh, when it comes to intraday action. Uh, well, earnings, you know, earnings for AT&T. Their earnings were this morning, excuse me. Uh, beat their numbers, top and bottom line. Uh, usually AT&T, we're always looking for sort of subscriber. Interesting, uh, they did have better wireless subscriber uh, numbers, so, so that's positive. And uh, they reported a, a lot of positivity out of their promotion of the iPhone. So uh, the iPhone, usually, you know, iPhone sales have been down. Apple has not uh, really, you know, sort of <laughs> hasn't had great numbers, I guess, as expected uh, on the iPhone 15. But AT&T says no, like they, they were promoting the heck out of it and it worked well. It helped them uh, beat on their cash flow and um, and their their quarter was uh, positive as a result. So anyways, that that's what's fueling it this morning. As you said, Carlos, it doesn't usually trade all that well. You got to be careful with this. It is a nice stock, as, mm -hmm. as I keep saying. It trades slightly differently. Anything off the NYSE stock exchange, just because the um, market makers handle it and manage it differently. But maybe, maybe today, maybe today's the day where T gets a move. It sort of trades like a bank. You know, if I was to put it in a category, that's sort of what it always feels like to me. So, you know, treat it as such. Yeah, you're right. I like that. It does. It does feel like a Bank of America ish type of stock here. Um, I will put on a secondary. I do like the pre market action. Uh, right now and it is a nice stock so to have this pre-market action so early on is good hopefully that can continue uh, should be should be fun here doesn't move a whole lot i mean this entire move here although it looks big is only what 70 cents or so so it's not a big mover um but let's see what happens at the open um heading down we have tsm uh next on the list here tsm is a 3.9 275 000. uh this one obviously a foreign ticker that does not trade very well but they're up today um, so I would love to know what's happened here up 4% uh, this morning. Yeah. N another earnings play. Uh, you know, the, I always find this a fascinating company, right? It's like one of these sleeper companies. It's the massive chip manufacturer behind the chip manufacturers, right? Like most chips that you get, if they're not specifically branded are probably coming out of a TSM factory. Uh, so they make a massive number of high and mid range chips. Uh, anyways, they had their quarterly earnings beat their numbers. Um, they uh, are reporting robust growth despite uh, some of the economic challenges that we're seeing uh, in the markets overall and concerns over 
um, import export uh, rules, but uh, they seem to be doing okay, anyways. Um, they did say that uh, you know there's some areas that uh, were were lagging for them. Some of the advanced chips they produce for uh, smartphones, for example, volume was down on that. Um, they did uh, issue uh, a, a little well, not it wasn't really issuing a concern, but uh, they said that you know th th their their numbers were down to previous quarters, but they think they're going to be able to continue to to drive growth. So you, we have to keep in mind, you know, their their numbers were down compared to what they'd done like this time last year, for example. But they'd forecasted that, and they still beat the forecast. So, but you know, like you know, probably more than we need to know about them because really. They, they, they just never trade well. You'd think they should, being such a massive company, they, they generally don't. So interesting to, to know about the background. Probably not that influential. Other than, you know, if Taiwan Semiconductor says things are well and they're seeing positive demand, you can actually expect spillover to the stuff we generally do trade. So AMD and NVIDIA, I'm, I'm thinking that they may get a boost from the relatively... Uh, positive outlook that we're getting out of TSM. So frankly, that's where I'm going to pay attention. But you know, that's the news. All right, there you go. Uh, it could be a hit or miss. I like it. I'm going to put it here as a secondary for now. And like you said, we'll look at what else gets affected by it. Um, all right, let's take a look here. NU, what is this? Not MU, but NU is uh, New yeah. Holdings. Oh, brutal. Oh, this doesn't uh, look good. No, this I mean, NU Holdings. So you see Holdings or acquisitions or something like that in the title you know it's like it's one of these like shell companies this is out of the cayman islands if you needed another hint that it's probably a shell company <laughs> um <laughs> but uh every once in a while we see this up here it's 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 lumped into the banking sector just from a, a sector categorization but i don't honestly know <clears throat> what the news is um they, they had an upgrade uh, so may maybe that's all it is. Uh, coverage was initiated uh, by a couple of analysts, not not the main analysts, but a couple of them. So I, I'm I'm you know other than that, I, I, I guess it's maybe just analyst uh, reviews that are moving it. But it's uh, I don't know. It's, it's a strange stock. I, I I usually just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks looks sketchy. Uh, Rafsila says it has three employees, so we're gonna skip on that one <laughs> right away. Let's <laughs> I, move on down. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I would not be uh, not be happy looking at that on our list. All right, let's take a look here at uh, American Airlines. That's gonna probably look a little better this morning. Nine hundred twenty-four thousand shares trade. I mean, they have. Do they have anywhere else to go back up? I mean, since July, right? I think July. Yeah, well, July. Airlines has been getting crushed. I mean, it just hasn't been fun. Yeah. Yeah, and that, and uh, yeah, and that's what I was sort of thinking this morning that may, maybe they just have to go up because they've been pushed down so much. So they had earnings this morning as well. A mixed report for them. They missed on top line revenue, but they beat on bottom line earnings, which is a little bit of a surprise, being that we've been hearing about all of the anticipated headwinds over costs. So um, it's a little odd that they're you know that I would have expected the other way around that they would beat on revenue, but would have had cost pressures. Instead, they missed on revenue. Uh, as I said, and, and beat bottom line. But um, uh, that being said, no real, you know, no no big news out of uh, American. Um, I would have expected they would have spoken a little bit more about fuel prices, like their competitors have. Um, but really, it was pretty quiet. They really just said, "Yeah, costs are up." Um, you know, we, we, we see some good holiday bookings starting to come in, so you know, we think we're going to be okay. So I, I don't know what to expect out of them. It's a little, little bit of an odd story, frankly, almost like a non-story out of American. So I would be cautious trading it this morning. I mean, it looks okay, but I'm not sure where it's going to go. Yeah, I, look at United Airlines. Uh, actually, was much better uh, yesterday. Seems like here had a bigger move. So we'll, we'll be on the lookout for. It. I'll put it on a secondary, but I don't see anything great on it um, right now. We'll put this one on here. I did like United Airlines move yesterday, so let's put that on deck here. See if anything else comes out of that. Uh, but here is yesterday's drop. It actually yeah, actually United, traded very clean, man. Very very clean. Yeah, they had a great drop off the open and was uh, yeah, like you said, pretty pretty clean. Yeah, pretty yeah. straightforward. So I'll put those two on our secondary list. Let's see what happens there uh, today as volume comes in. Here's Mara making a, a late appearance to our gap up list. Uh, up 2.2. Again, it's just stuck. They're stuck in this funk here between 850 
uh, 873 and what seems to be 770 or so um it's just not much happening here you know if you're able to yeah. if you're a good range trader and you're able to cast the top and the bottom i know thor is very good at you know something's hitting the r4s and levels so you can go short on it maybe you could catch something like this but um for me it has not been trading all that well yeah there's I, really no news on it either I, I think it's just almost random that it just happened to popped up here just over two percent 290,000 shares, nothing to write home about. All right. Um, so there you have it. So we'll, we'll leave it alone for now. Now let's look at our gap down list, which continues to get longer and longer every time I look over. Uh, let's start here with some names I'm not too familiar with. RTO this morning. Oh, this is this is pure garbage. What is this? This is Ren, Ren to Kill. Ren to Kill. Initials. <laughs> Initial. Ren to Kill, and Initial PLC out of the UK. Mm -hmm. uh they're uh they're they're like uh they they kill bugs don't they they're like uh the exterminators oh uh, so they do okay I, I'm, I'm i think i'm not sure but i think they're like a pest control film aren't they or firm uh, anyways. i have no idea uh but yes uh just reading the news as i'm talking here it looks like they're reporting softer demand in north america uh for pest control services so um yeah that's uh i don't know i guess business is cooling off there's not as many bugs around uh, or people are choosing not to exterminate them <laughs> so. uh what well, what we need is i oh, in canada by the way are you guys getting this um it's a lantern bugs are you guys getting that up there is that a thing in uh, canada it doesn't sound familiar no this is new bugs that came out like two three years ago they're they're eat all over the trees here in New Jersey. So if you're in the Northeast, I'm sure you heard of it. I wonder if they're up in Boston. But they're this thing that kills the trees, and it's, it's been a problem for the last three years, and we just, we've just been trying to find something that gets rid of them. Uh, sp spotted lantern fly. Yeah, that's that's it, Michael. I wonder if that's only a Northeast thing or if it's across the country or not. Um, oh, it, fortunately, it hasn't hit here, but I would have thought rental kill would be, uh, whatever, would be doing well because I've, I've heard about the... Uh, the bed bug infestation all across France. I know mm. France is uh, having a problem, and, and the Olympics are coming up next year. But apparently, France has been fighting bed bugs for years. Um, but it's uh, it's really surged. I mean, it's so bad that apparently you got to be careful on public transport and in taxis. Wow, uh, they're, they're that's so intense. Like, yeah, yeah, that's that's a little gross. But yeah, it's intense. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyways, no more cabs. Yeah. Go to the Olympics. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. Oof. Um, all right. Let's take. Yeah, there there it is. It's these little things, Peter. I'm not sure if you've ever seen them. Okay. Uh, no. But, man, well, they are. You, you can keep them. They are all over. Send them my way. I don't want to. I don't want them. <laughs> all over, man. You won't believe how bad. Um, okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look here. RTO. No fun here. Don't like this one. We'll skip down yep. to the next one. SMTC um this one is down 13 percent. very light volume though one hundred twenty-eight thousand. i don't like the volume I'm seeing on the daily either they're not getting even above three million here so not sure what news is driving them today um it, doesn't look good it's a uh th this is one of the smaller uh semiconductor companies sem semtech uh yeah semtech corp yeah. we don't pay much attention to them they had uh, about 250 million or a quarter billion dollars worth of convertible notes so essentially a secondary offering so uh, so that's not even a great a great uh ticker um i mean a great catalyst excuse me uh all right let's take a look at the next one here goose g or goes um canada goose, <laughs> this canada is goose. Up, that's up in your neck of the woods here um down 9.6 131,000. Uh, doesn't look all that good but what do they make no they make uh trendy uh trendy winter jackets for the world um uh, they they had a couple of downgrades actually overnight. So uh, Wells Fargo, TD Cohen, both downgraded them. Uh, so I, I think that we're just seeing some movement because of that downgrade. But uh, again, not a great trader. Yeah, doesn't look good. Heading down to all right, here we go. Tesla, the one we've here's, been uh, here's the big waiting one. on, right? So right now, yeah. six point two million shares traded, down six percent. As Peter mentioned earlier, some fun. I mean, look at look at yesterday. If you look at after the close, it looks like the stock market was actually open for Tesla yeah. last night. Oh, yeah. So uh, fill us in, man, latest and greatest on this. Obviously not doing too hot this morning. Well, as you just showed there, what was fascinating is, you know, what happens always after the close. Everybody like all the fans get in there and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right? and they're trying to promote it. And then the numbers came out. And as as happy as Netflix earnings were, 
uh, Teslas were dismal. Uh, they missed their numbers, top and bottom line. It was a big miss, actually, for Tesla because everybody was expecting them at least to, to hit the numbers. They lowered their guidance, issued a profit warning, announced that the, the, the build-out of their Mexican plant might be delayed. I mean, the news was just bad across the board. So, um, so now you're getting all the articles. You, you know what happens if you're a big fan. It's like, it's like having a smoker, right, that becomes an anti-smoker. They, they, they tend to go to the far extreme. So the pendulum is starting to swing. Uh, who knows? I mean, it might get stopped because often the, the fans come back again quickly. But it was amazing to see uh, articles this morning. Is the blush off the rose? Is it over for Tesla? Is, you know, I'm like, okay, let, let's calm down, right? They have one quarter of bad earnings. And, you know, <laughs> business works in cycles. But uh, anyways, there are, uh, there are some challenges in Tesla's business. They're being impacted uh, by, uh, well, uh, increased, you know, they had to increase their costs, which normally is good, but this is a very price sensitive market and very competitive sensitive. So, uh, you know, Tesla has not basically tried to competitively price their vehicles in the past because they generally didn't have any competition. Uh, but they're seeing a lot more active competition, which is putting pressure on them. Uh, they're they're concerned about uh, the the economy, and uh, if that starts to go down, will people be willing to you know sort of purchase their vehicles? Uh, so there's there's just a lot of sort of headwind facing them right now. Um, we'll see where this goes. I mean, uh, uh, t- look, I mean, look at that gap down. If you look at the daily on a broader picture, I mean, there is there are areas of support around here. It's uh, it's it would take a lot of negativity to get Tesla down, you know, to, to the two hundred dollar mark. But I don't know, anything's possible, man. All I can tell you, it's going to be in play today. I'm definitely watching it because I, I don't know if I'm going to be watching it with popcorn or with my fingers on the keys. <laughs> but one way or the other, I'm watching it. Yeah, yeah, okay. could not agree with you more. Tesla will be on deck today. I mean, just look at the volume. Let's just hope it's not too wild and. We we're talking in our YouTube chat earlier. Do we think Tesla's going to bounce back from here and recover today? It can. I mean, Tesla can do whatever it wants. We've seen it gap down before and do well. So, you know, it can definitely do that. But, uh, but yeah, definitely is going to be a lot of fun to watch this one today on this big gap down of 6% we're seeing here, especially after a red day yesterday. Even more downside today. Um, yeah, looking very, very good. All right, next on this list, we'll look at VMware. Now, this was on our list yesterday, right? I think... Um, uh vmware yesterday oh, no, this no, week. day before yeah day yeah. before big gap down uh and yeah. flat yesterday and then another gap down towards the lows of uh the day where they had gap down here so uh I'm not sure what's going on there it's not a great trader usually light volume um and as the days goes on here well uh, several days go on you can see the volume be less and less until we're back to trading basically nothing right so little action now over the last couple of days but eventually this will go back to not being uh in nobody's radar um but what did it do yeah what did it do here it's some crazy trading the the news two days ago was that there was some insider selling there's news of continued insider selling today Uh, Mm -hmm. but added on to that uh there's a rumor a rumor that beijing is looking at delaying uh, a pretty big a 69 billion dollar uh, deal uh, with Broadcom that involves a lot of VMware software. So um, now, you know, this could be a political move, right? With the U.S. announcing that they may restrict chip sales. Uh, it could be that China is saying, well, why would we buy American software, right? Or American services. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, who, who knows what's going on? All, all that matters. VMware is basically caught in the crossfire, right? This is not really their deal, but it was a big software deal that they were hoping to include in their uh, forthgoing revenue stream. And uh, that is what is dragging it down today. So, uh, you know, because this is such news driven, and again, rumor based news driven, all it takes is, uh, you know, a change in that story for VMware to to recover. So I don't know what's going to happen with it, but it it's um, it's interesting anyways this morning. And if the volume keeps up, this might be an interesting play. But Carlos, as you were just pointing out, if you look at the chart, like there, there's days where it does absolutely nothing, like just like dead sideways. And, you know, it, that could happen on any given day. Yeah, 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 I agree. Um, what's interesting is so we had insider selling, you know, <laughs> on uh, two days ago. Now this rumor comes out. Uh, that's uh, that's that's amazing. I love how the, yeah. the, the timeline works there. Um, 
but yeah there you have it guys i don't like it as far as day trading so i'm going to keep it off my list uh for now um looking here Zoll we do is, have uh, yeah sorry it's always challenging my language when i said they may stop chip sales I, I i guess what i meant to say was that the u.s has put trade restrictions in place to prevent the sale of chips the question is will they enforce it and and how effective will they be at actually enforcing that but um anyways it's uh yeah it, 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 a lot of the time these these restrictions are more um uh they're, they're more political than they are financial right meaning that yeah. you know it's, it's more about making the statement and getting some attention than it is actually enforcing the regulations so happens uh, all the but, time and if you look at that yeah. article you're sharing there and if you go into the fine if you read everything in the fine details and you look at everything oh it's for starting in 2024 or starting here you know so it's it's a lot of uh uh, might not be happening well, right away and it's a lot that they have to look into first and and things like even like okay so nvidia can't sell but they could license their technology to taiwan semiconductor that will produce them under their name and sell them to china which effectively stops nothing right and everybody gets to make their money so yeah you know yeah. i'm not saying that's what's happening in this case but th that's the type of thing that that can often happen so you know just always always be aware of that type of thing and then it, it it's uh the news isn't always as clear cut as it likes to read in the headline it was like the the uh the, the sec looking into baba and these chinese tickets remember that oh we're easing oh we're tiny again oh we're easing we're tiny again and you just see bob's going up and down which was great for us we took nice advantage of that but it was just a mess back and forth so we'll have to keep a close eye on it i wish this would have been a better trading ticker it is not um so that's the reason why i'm keeping it off my list because this news could be good to trade uh if we keep going back and forth here um even on the day that it gapped down big right here you had all the action in the pre-market did recover but man it was an ugly recovery with this with this type of volume that we're seeing there um then towards the bottom speaking of bob we have baba neo lee expert a couple of uh, evs as, aside from baba and chinese tickers here this morning so i'm assuming expert neo are all being affected by uh tesla's number right it's just kind of more of a sympathy play here um yeah i, I, I don't think. really see any news against any of them in the sector but yes yeah, so I, I would think you know tesla is the, the big boy in the space especially when it comes to uh, market valuation so if they're showing signs of challenge then generally the industry takes a hit as well so uh but uh yeah because i'm i assume that's what's happening i'm not seeing much of uh much of any news yeah yeah um i right, will look at tesla we'll leave that one alone let's take a look at baba who's also gapping down today two point something not a whole lot of volume uh but gapping down at 2.1 341 000 shares traded um i love the daily we lost this area at 83 here so we continue to see some weakness um which is nice maybe a possible we need more out of it i like the gap down i like the loss of this support and hopefully that could turn into something i'm going to put as a secondary here we can always come back and see how that's looking in a couple of minutes uh peter is this drive is this being driven by anything this baba drop today i know it's not a big drop but it just seems significant because we're losing support that that's only yeah. it right I don't know. I mean, uh, I, there, look, there's been uh, news about economic trouble out of, you know, the Asia Pacific area and out of China specifically. Um, that that has weighed on Baba for a while. I don't really see much new there. I mean, there, you know, Baba or Alibaba had a deal in Cambodia uh, to try and uh, get more business that that came out yesterday. There was some news about uh some of their ai initiatives which generally would be seen as a good thing no news out of china that i've seen not, nothing you know in terms of new restrictions or economic uh you know pullbacks or anything like that so uh i, I don't know specifically what's driving this but it, it it just feels like it's normal market movement stuff yeah yeah sorry um <laughs> no no good <laughs> all right let's take it to you peter what do you like this morning or any other major earnings that we gotta uh, talk about well look i i mentioned we've obviously talked semiconductor a little bit here i'm gonna watch uh nvidia it's actually making some moves here uh pre-market uh had, had some good price action so far this morning or from about eight o'clock on so uh I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on that you know especially with the light of the Taiwan Semiconductor news we were just talking about. Of course, I'll be watching my good buddy AMD. Uh, all eyes are on Tesla, so I'll, I'll be you know watching that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, other than that, what else do I have in earnings? Uh, 
Las Vegas Sands, LVS, had earnings. Um, they uh, beat their numbers uh, and actually increased their buyback to about $2 billion. Some good news out, out of China. Maybe I should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, interesting, LVS, uh, all of their growth, they said, is coming from Macau. So they're seeing a very strong you know, retail and gambling market in, uh, in Macau. Uh, so uh, that is uh, lifting their stock this morning. Uh, Alcoa AA had uh, earnings as well. A little bit of mixed picture there. They beat on revenue, uh, missed on their earnings, but only by a penny. The forecast was a dollar thirteen. They uh, they yeah they lost a dollar thirteen versus an uh, sorry they lost a dollar fourteen versus the dollar thirteen estimate. We have to keep in mind, by the way, uh, compared to the same time last year, they only lost thirty three cents. So. That's uh, you know three times as deep a hole, I suppose. Uh, but you know, but they forecast for that. But yeah, it's it's not looking as good uh, for for Alcoa. Not usually a good trader pre market. So, anyways, more for interest than actual trading. And the last one I had on my list was SAP. Um, they they beat their numbers um, and uh, are not seeing much volume again this morning. So uh, I said none of those I'm watching of that last batch, but just to complete the picture for you of earnings. We still have a lot of good earnings coming up, by the way, uh, a couple that we might want to keep an eye on because uh, there are some uh, earnings coming up after the, the close. And then again, tomorrow, again, uh, well, you know, tradingterminal.com is your place to go. It'll it'll tell you what's coming and what you can look for. But um, uh, for today, Carlos, yeah, I'm going to stick to, I think, my AMD NVIDIA pair and then Tesla, of course, and then we'll see what else. So maybe the airlines, just, just to see if the airlines do something fun. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, see, uh, I see tonight TSM is also reporting, so that that's going to be uh, fun. They're moving today also. They're uh, my secondary list. Um, they reported and, this morning, actually. Oh, so. they did? Uh, yeah, they. You're right. They are here on this list, but they they've already reported. Oh, this is uh needs to be checked out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. All right. Um. So uh, yeah, then we'll see what comes in Friday. We got American Express, which is not a great trade. We got some stuff coming in there, but I don't see any big names. Usually Fridays are not great. There's not a lot of no the, cool most companies, companies try you know? and avoid reporting yeah. on Fridays if they can. So yeah. Unless you're a bank and you're starting earnings, usually I saw you see some of that JP Morgan stuff like we saw last week, but then it really dies down, especially after the close. Look, it's nothing there. All right, uh, let's get to what we have here and uh, we'll get to your to the chat. Uh, let's see what you guys like this morning. We'll start with our chat room here. Let's take a look at some tickers that you guys are watching today. Um, the XPF on SSR. Yeah, XPF. Let's take a look. XPF, again, more in sympathy uh, play right now. It is on SSR with interactive brokers, short selling restriction. Um, not that much shares for sure, only 550000 For a $13 stock, you know, that's not a whole lot. People start really to go short on it. Uh, that can go pretty quickly. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, Amazon, Apple, well, let's take a look at those. Start with Amazon this morning. Uh, today is Thursday. Yes, I know the name. Today is Thursday. I know that. <laughs> uh, <this> is, <laughs> we were just looking Friday. forward. We were looking yeah, forward yeah. to see what was coming yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Not, not we usually, to we, I usually don't know the dates. You know, I, especially in the middle, they get all kind of merged into each other. But yeah, today I know it's Thursday for sure. Uh, so here's Amazon, guys, up two percent, looking good right now. Six hundred seven thousand shares traded. So we got some movement out of this one. Um, no, we could, we could take a look at it. It's more of a possible for me because I think this is going to fall into the list of our usual suspects and kind of what everything, whatever every other stock is doing on our that list there. Apple is also up slightly, not as big as Amazon this morning. As far as the gap up, only uh, slightly uh, above the previous day close here. But Amazon looks good though. Anything going on with Amazon? Seems like they're 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 moving nicely here, uh, trying to break the high from yesterday. So hopefully that can uh, can get going there, but uh, Amazon is good. Apple, uh, let's take a look at Apple. Apple not so much. I think this can go on your secondary list. It'll go on my secondary list, right? Um, if I have space here, I know I have T here. I'm just hoping right. that it can do something. But uh, which yeah, one? Amazon. Yesterday afternoon, Amazon did announce that they were going to be doing drone deliveries in Italy and potentially some other uh, uh, European and in the UK, I guess next mm -hmm. year 2024 
Yeah. So that that could be interesting. I I still I don't quite understand what that would look like, but somebody's somebody's going to get injured by a drone, guaranteed. <laughs> I will I will put money on it now because somebody's going to do something dumb and or attack a drone or whatever. But anyways, you know Man, you know something's going on. They got to somehow protect the blade because I could already see someone's dog running to this thing in the middle of the yard, right? And right. just it's not going to be pretty. So they, they got to figure Someone this out. Someone's going to try and capture it and or do whatever. Yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know. So something's going to happen. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, the drone delivery is just super cool as a concept, but it seems it seems fraught for you know with with problems. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's anyway. it will be interesting. Um, all right, so uh, there's Amazon. I, I like the pre market action today. Actually, it looks better than Apple and some other ones that we looked at so far so i will keep that on there uh what else guys i saw on here amd is good it's on my secondary list for now so that's okay uh let's see over here and i think that's pretty much it man we have a good list i like my list today netflix really in play tesla definitely in play uh wonder if anybody is short from the lows of the pre-market i know people are going to be uh you know thinking a bounce on tesla <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Uh, that is a great delivery. See, that could be a dangerous delivery. Our, our friends over on our chat are sharing <laughs> what the drone will look like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't drop the bottle. Don't drop the glass bottle. Yeah, it's not yeah, good. Or hot coffee. Go, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Tesla looks great. I'm sure some people trading in the pre-market because the action is really nice. Trading after hours as well was great. Yes, as you can see here, beautiful drop. So hopefully uh, that's going to continue. I'm sure it's going to continue into the market open. So that'll be the first one I'll be looking at today. NVIDIA though, NVIDIA is looking really good. Looking very well here. Um, up 1.5 now. It's good volume um, as we've seen over the last two days especially. Uh, so that looks great there. Here is Amazon. Amazon also looking nice. Yeah, I like my list. I'm ready for levels. Let's go to uh, what's happening tonight first and then we'll get back and do... Uh, what's um what this list looks like once we start slamming some levels in here so we'll look at today is thursday that's our good buddy uh alex alex alexander is that alexander or alex sander um mentioned here reminded us on youtube alexander anyways alexander it's thursday right so i want to thank nathan for his webinar last night appreciate him taking the time to do that uh tonight is all mentorship so we have three sessions today uh john uh, Jared and Megan and Thor. So those are going at 11 o'clock for John, uh, two o'clock on options with Jared and Megan, and then eight o'clock tonight with Thor, uh, all, you know, regular scheduled, uh, mentorship sessions, all good, all opportunities to ask questions and get in depth with your favorite traders. So, uh, hopefully you'll join all of those. And just as a reminder, we do have a mentorship and weekly trade review session that happens uh, on Sundays with Paris. Again, Paris has continued to kill it. Um, it's funny how he was uh, he was mentioning the other days. So, oh, I just don't trade the same size Andrew. I feel tiny compared to him. You're still a giant to us, Paris. He, he's been trading like completely awesome. So uh, it's worth going to his session. So again, but the the sessions for today: eleven o'clock, two o'clock, and eight o'clock. So hopefully you will join those and thor look at that he's ready to go man he's got the the hammer going the lightning look at that he's posted pictures into the into the chat room so he's, he's already energized so that'll be good to go for uh, for tonight uh if you want information on the markets any time of day tradingterminal.com as i was mentioning earlier place to go right you want to know what's happening on earnings now that we're in earnings season again Go there. We got the gappers or scanners where you can check the markets and see what's going on. We use this every morning to figure out what's gapping, as you can see right there on the screen, right off the home page of tradingterminal.com with the new revised look. Um, don't forget, it's got a replay mode, a free simulator that you can use to trade live in the markets. Um, it, it's got the academy in there, all sorts of stuff. So go check it out, tradingterminal.com. And as always, if you want to join us at Variable Traders in the chat room so you can talk stocks with us, uh, attend our webinars, right? Get all the education uh, from uh, strategy to psychology. It's all at VariableTraders.com. Uh, you can uh, use it, the intro offer, which gives you one week access. That's always our entry point, And it is discounted right now, $24. 
uh, if you want to get that. Uh, so use the code PREMARKET24 to get that discounted rate off of the intro offer. And the B basic and elite monthly are always there. The elite annual, always the best deal and even a better deal now because it's 50% off if you use the code Halloween 50. You do commit for a full year, but uh, you get a full year worth of access and tons of value in that. So hopefully we'll see you here in the chat room soon. All right, there you go, Carlos, back to you. Back to our studio. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's jump in here, friends. Uh, let's do some levels. We have Netflix, Tesla, Nvidia, and Amazon, and these four are looking real nice this morning. Let's start with Netflix, man. Very, very strong. A fifteen point three right now, uh, and just continues to break new pre market highs. Right now, pre market highs four hundred two. Uh, 40 so we'll put a level there and then towards the bottom our low of our pre-market all the way down at 380.87 so again just a big big move on netflix here what was that 50 dollar move uh on this thing yesterday yeah. over 400 now. wow very nice very nice um so yeah there there you have it uh it, in the intra intra pre-market right here right into the action we do have some levels that might be worth marking down this 392 might be worth having there. You had a lot of resistance last night on this one here, so maybe that can also uh, play a part in this morning's action, right? So 392 uh, is a good one. Get hit, looking at our above our previous our high of the pre-market, we're looking at 411, so we'll do a level there as well. You can see it's kind of being confirmed, actually very a lot of confirmation in our daily as well. Areas of resistance, support, you got a few of those around that 411.85. And then just, just in case we continue to crush it here, this thing can move as we've seen in the past. When it's in play, you can expect some really, really big moves out of this one. So be careful your number of share size. You do not need to take a boatload of shares to make good money on Netflix, right? So take a, a reasonable amount uh, and make your money on the move here, right? Don't try to make your money on loading up the boat. Uh, you don't want to find yourself on the wrong side of that uh, that situation. So careful there. Uh, another level here in between that I think is worth noting is going to be this 417. So you got a couple of days kind of opening, closing, and slamming into that. So you might want to keep a note on that as well in case we do have a little stutter step uh, if we do decide to push higher. Aside from that, you have your highs and lows for the last two trading days towards the bottom here. There is a gap here where you don't have levels, right? Because we just, we just again, we moved $50 almost. So we skipped through all of that all the way up here to 400 um, So I see a good level at 375 I'm just going to mark that one down. If we do start dropping below the low of the pre-market, we can focus on finding more levels. But just 375 for now is the big, big level that sticks out within this gap that we have here, right? So that is really uh, all you need uh, at the moment. So it is Netflix 1.3, guys, up 15% and just crushing it, looking to probably retest this 402. We might have a new pre-market high very shortly here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see on um, Tesla. So Tesla big drop this morning. Already bouncing from the low of the pre-market. Let's see if that can hold the low of the pre-market to 224.25. So we will slam a level there. So you guys slam that thumbs up over on YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. Yesterday, yesterday I, I left the, the window open on YouTube and we got to 177. So thank you guys. That is awesome. So uh, if we can get over 140, 150, that would be uh, uh, amazing. Man, did someone, right. just, did someone just unlike the video when I said that? That is brutal. I'm asking for a little love, and somebody it went from 71 to 70. I'm like, well, what? Uh, okay, uh, well, oh, yeah, man. Sure you know what? We're canceling the show. We're gonna just do it in the for the members, man. Man, guys, you, you, you're gonna make Carlos cry. You're gonna make we me upset make here. <laughs> I'm telling you, we will switch this so fast into the members tab, man. That is that is brutal. No, I'm kidding. I, I love the members <laughs> that are here on our YouTube chat. Longtime viewers like Chris. You know, we have Melanie. We have a bunch of people here, Mrs. Mrs. Nice T, which actually is in your group, Peter. She's doing the, the boot camp in your group. Yeah. So she's on YouTube as well watching there. Uh, Alice, which, you know, is always on here. Stefan, yeah, yeah, we love you guys. Um, Old Testament, Leonardo, I mean, you guys are great. So thank you for always being on here. That one guy, whoever did that, if we can block him, that would be great. But let me not get too hasty. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get into Tesla. Tesla here, guys, low of the pre-market, 224. The high is going to be over at... Uh, what do we see here? 233.48. 233.48 will slam a level there. And then towards the bottom, within the pre market high and low, we do have some levels here. 239, uh, 230, excuse me, 230.59. It's a good one there as well. And then right where the price action is at, it's another level. So you got plenty of levels here because this thing is moving today, right? So I am going to mark down this 226.80, right? These are big, big moves. Like 
you're, you're, you might be thinking, why so many levels within the pre-market? Because it's a lot of action. I mean, this is 233. The lowest $10, uh, you know, $10 away here. So it's a lot of activity on Tesla today, which we can hopefully enjoy once the market uh, bell rings. If we were to lose this 224, the low of the pre-market, uh, we have a level of 219. Not a big level, right? We got some really nice ones up here like this one here. Previous day close has a lot of touches. Even this high of the pre-market has a lot of touches as well happening here. So again, a lot of good stuff happening there. Above the pre-market high, there, we do have an area where it's a lot of uh, opening, closing. It's just days slamming into that. That's going to be 238.31 as well. Um, so a lot going on there. Man, looking forward to how Tesla is going to trade today. A lot of action, 7.5 million shares traded. And just remember, guys, if you're going to be wrong on this one, be wrong very, very quickly. You know, no hoping and wishing on that thing. It can run against you pretty fast, and th those numbers can add up very, very quickly. Uh, yeah. Thor, uh, Thor, a couple of minutes ago, was asking if anyone was going to join him in uh, thinking, uh, trying to short uh, Netflix. Sorry about the whistle there. Anyways, mm. uh, shorting Netflix. I mean, my God, this is like the opposite of catching. What, what's the opposite of catching a knife? Catching the rocket? Jump in the rocket? I don't know. Well, we'll be it's, down for uh, that, yeah. I mean, look look at Netflix now, man. It's it's up to four oh four and still rocketing higher. So yeah, you got to be. Uh, I don't know. It's a uh, it's a tough one. It it does look like it's like you know it looks like this is an overdone move, but uh, I'd be very cautious on that. And I'm a short guy. I love shorting things, but uh, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens at the open. It, it may yeah. give us an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah um we'll, we'll definitely be looking at this man it's gonna be a lot of fun and nvidia right now high of the pre-market 229.33 so you have that level there and then you're surrounded by the highs and lows of the last two trading days doing a pretty good job here uh previous day close towards the bottom there i don't think you need to add anything else here just one more towards the top in case we break out of t this pre-market high plus the high from yesterday right it's going to be a nice nice level here at 438 very close to 440 it might actually be 440 if you get really close in here but again good area there 438 is a big level for nvidia uh last but not least amazon amazon is trying to do some stuff here in the morning up almost two percent and as far as levels a lot of the job is done for you highs and lows for the last two trading days taking care of the inside action here outside of that we're going to look at 134 37 and then towards the bottom two places i want to mark down 12609 and then down here of course a lot of support over at 124 17. once you do that don't need to add anything this is pretty nice here you know don't get it don't get don't get it too um don't make it too complicated when it comes to adding these uh this level uh all right perfect uh let's get to our moderators list i see we have oh, a lot yeah a lot of moderators with their list out already as i'm doing guys if you haven't had a chance to do that hit that thumbs up over already uh on youtube already sitting at 140 so thank you so much for that that is our goal 140 150 so the fact that we're there is uh, is amazing. No thanks to that one guy, but uh, but that or or girl, right? Let's <laughs> let's be fair, you know. Let's be fair. Girl, uh, no man. thanks to them, okay. but uh, we excellent. appreciate it. I, I hope it wasn't nice. I hope he clicked it twice, trying to show a lot of support. My mistake, he unclicked it. So yeah, yeah that's, that's all it was. I, I'm worried this is gonna. You're so you nice, Peter. Guy. You're so nice, oh, man, I, Peter. <laughs> P Peter, Peter is so nice. Yeah, this is why he's in HR. You know. Uh, this, is, this is good. This is good. All right, let's um, let's go in here, guys. Our monitors list this morning. Amy doesn't like a whole lot today, so he'll be looking for some reversals to set up. A lot of stuff is extended, so reversals will be a good one for today. Jarvis sound bites are available. Thor overall market spies and cues. Then Nvidia, Tesla, and Netflix. No, a um, few IPOs for today. No spacs. There they are. Um, NCL didn't open up yesterday, so maybe today. And then, Peter, yep. you'll be looking at AMD, Tesla, Netflix, secondary list, NVIDIA, American Airlines, United Airlines, and AT&T, which is T there. Maybe you'll be looking at uh, Amazon. Just, uh, yeah. Just on those IPOs, WeBuy, I've been waiting for this one for quite a while, so mm. I, I don't know if it's going to be as exciting as I hope it will, but uh, it, it's a relatively large IPO, and uh, it, it's it's been sitting there waiting to open for a couple of months, I'll say now. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm hoping that it gets a, a, some legs under it and is a good one. So I'll let everybody know in the room when it happens. But I just personally have been waiting for this for a while. So it, it's probably going to disappoint me so whenever I wait too long for something. It's sort of you know, it's like Christmas. You didn't get that letdown on Christmas. You're like, that's yeah. it. I, 
I didn't get the remote controlled dinosaur robot. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, is that a child story you're kind of uh, reflecting on yeah, there? We'll get into right. it in the next episode. Let's, let's finish socks. the list. Socks let's finish the list. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, <laughs> Peter's list, AMD, Tesla, Netflix, Secondary, NVIDIA, uh, United Airlines, um, uh, and American, and also AT&T. We're with Megan, actually. Megan looking at Amazon in the queues. Jared, NVIDIA, Netflix, Tesla, Secondary list, GameStop, and Amazon. Susan, Tesla, and Netflix, both heavy, heavy in play today with earnings. And then Brian's list, NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, Netflix, RTO, uh, Amazon needs to narrow this list. Need to narrow this list. Okay, and that's a great list, Brian. It's a great, great list. A lot going on today. That that looks very good. Uh, I think that's all, Peter. Anything else that we have to cover? Uh, no, we, we got it all covered. Have a good, smart trading day, guys. Lots to watch, so be careful out there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, do we have somebody talking today as well, Peter? I think, right? You mentioned that earlier. Just our normal uh, psychology, uh, sorry, uh, uh, mentorship webinars. Okay, there you go. Oh, you mean you mean uh, economic? Economic, yeah. At noon, at noon, yeah. Yes, yes. So look out for, for that. I know if you're in any position. Here's uh, Andrew's list. He threw it on on YouTube. Tesla, Nvidia, AMD, and TQQQ for Andrew uh, today. 150 likes, amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. It does help out the channel a ton, and we love you just as much right back. So take care, guys, on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow at 8.30. Have a great trading day.